Hi guys, it's Ariel. So today I'm actually going to be talking about something that's kind of weird to me. Um, I spend a lot of time on YouTube watching several different kinds of YouTubers. Some that do daily vlogs, some that do um, sketches, some that just so random as hell and do whatever the hell they want. And others that actually do like beauty videos and fashion videos. And that's what's weird to me is the fact that I enjoy stuff like that because um, if you can see right now, I'm sitting here with no makeup on my face, my hair is kind of frizzy, and I'm in a t-shirt that's too big for me, and I'm in pants that don't, shorts that don't match at all, and I clearly don't care about stuff like that. I, it's kind of weird because it's like, I am not girly, I used to be, but I feel like maybe the reason why I watch this is it gives me some ideas for if and when I do decide to be girly again and it kind of on occasion will inspire me to do that again because it can be kind of fun to actually be a girl but for the most part it's too much effort and I'm lazy <laughs> and but it's fun sometimes so I do it then um and I just it baffles me at why I enjoy these kinds of videos because I'm like I'm just sitting there watching somebody mess around with makeup or their hair or talking about an outfit. It's like, why are these entertaining? And with some of them, like for example, Graveyard Girl or Bunny or Arden Rose, um, 816 I think is what it was. I don't remember. Her name's Arden Rose. You, you can find her. They have like cer a certain personality to them. Same with Essie Button. I just started watching her. And then there's other ones. Like they're, what I was going to say is they're entertaining about it. They like will make jokes and just... I don't know, they're funny the way they do it. So I can understand it with them. But what I don't understand is how I watch like ones more like um, Miss Glamorazzi, which is Ingrid, or Zoe, or Zoella, I mean, or Sprinkle of Glitter. I don't know why I watch them because it's like, it's not like oh, for the most part they're overly funny. They kind of can be. But it, for the most part, they do focus on the more girly side of that. And I don't understand why they amuse me because. I don't do makeup, I don't care, I can't afford half the products they talk about, and I'm too cheap to buy half of them anyway. Like the whole, some of you might have heard of this, and I only know about this mainly because of a ton of YouTubers. <laughs> I know of a lot of things because of YouTube. Um, the Naked 3 or Naked 1 or just the Naked palette, they are eyeshadows for those who don't know. One of my best friends bought one and I asked her how much it was out of curiosity, it was like $50. I've never paid more than like a 20, not even $20, like $16 for an eyeshadow thing. And that seemed like a lot to me, but there was a lot in it and it, I still have it years later. So it was worth it, but I couldn't imagine spending that much money. Or it's like people will spend that much money on like foundation or something. And I don't wear foundation most of the time. I have some. Don't use it because it just isn't, it doesn't sit right with me. I don't like it. Um. So does anybody else do this? Like, does anyone else think it might be like their inner girly girl wanting to come back out and they're just not quite doing it? Or does it give you inspiration to do the same? Or do you just enjoy watching them? I, I can't be alone in this. Because it just surprises me. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.